so hello everyone welcome back to the channel and you are watching komataya so guys in the last videos i talked about variational principle where i talked about the basic theory and some uh, numerical basic numericals and some previous questions i hope that topic is clear to you if you still have doubt you can ask me anytime in comment section or in telegram group but from today i'm going to start linear variational principle it sounds very similar to variational principle only although it is very much similar so i'm going to tell you in detail what is the difference and how uh, things will go in linear variational principle and it is more important a lot of times question has have come from this topic so so i think let's see how that uh, topic looks like and without delay we should start our video so this topic starts with this linear variational principle pay attention over screen so it is linear variational principle right so according so the basic definition is you can study everything over here so in if i uh, tell you in short that the linear variational principle means if your trial wave function suppose you are taking some random wave function so if it is linearly dependent dependent on a uh, variational parameter like c alpha beta so then it is considered as linear variational function and it is used to study the quantum mechanical treatment of bond theory in molecule like vbt mot and huckel molecular orbital theory so we see quantum mechanical treatment and for that we use uh, linear variational principle right so you must have uh, studied like vbt mot in quantum mechanics also and huckel molecular orbital theory so the basic principle it starts from here only it guides the way for vbt mot and huckel molecular orbital theory right so uh, i guess uh, this is it like the basic definition so if i go like one more thing so uh, this if i come into this slide one more thing which i need to tell you that uh, yeah so you can read stuff over here the basic theory i have written over here so if you have some semester exams or like that you can use that but uh, if i tell you in short so the bat so just hear here like just listen to me properly whatever i'm saying right now because this is very important and question come from here only so this is very important this paragraph whole it's very important so basically thing is the number of variational parameter you know that number of variational parameter means c alpha beta anything that comes in trial wave function right so um, number of so greater the number of variational parameter just see over here what i'm greater the number of variational parameter better the function is better the function is so this is the one statement and it's very important so you have to apply it in numericals also so just see what is the meaning suppose if i take one, let's let's take one example suppose if i take one a trial wave function suppose it is one wave function and if i take a uh, only one constituent in it right so if i take one state in in it and if i write a51 suppose right and if i take another another wave function and if i write a51 plus b52 so greater the number of so a and b are variational parameter so you can see in uh, trial wave function in second trial wave function greater the number of more the number of variational parameter better the function is so this is the better function because it has two variational parameter a and b so trial wave function second it would be better so what do you mean if i say it is better better means the energy corresponding to this wave function will be much much closer to the exact function so the wave function corresponding to exact energy so means that that wave function corresponds to much closer to that if you are just getting to me clearly so that means it will be much closer energy of second trial wave function which may will be much closer to the exact energy then the trial if then the energy of trial wave function 1 fine so it will be much closer it will be su suppose uh, suppose it would be like this uh, suppose if i say it would be minus 0.2 then it would be minus 0.4 and it would be something minus 0.75 like that clear so that is how things are going to be and it would be much greater like it would be much closer 
than this one so i i think this is uh, clear to me one more thing one more thing guys i need to tell you that uh, you'll you'll just focus this thing uh, it's very very important and whatever i'm going to say now question comes on the comes on the basis of that only so just pay attention over it suppose if i'm saying even energy corresponding to this wave function is even and energy corresponding to this wave function is e2 fine and there is exact energy like obviously one uh, one perfect function will be there wave function will be there and energy corresponding corresponding to that will be exact energy so e2 will be closer to exact fine e2 will be closer to exact but it will be always greater than equal to exact i told you trial wave function energy will always be greater than equal to exact energy that's what variational principle says right so e2 energy will be greater than equal to exact energy what about even like even energy would be less than equal to or greater than equal to so just pay attention over it like we are confused obviously e2 will corresponds more to e exact but even even will corresponds uh, like very far away from this e exact but how come like whether it is greater than or it is less than we don't know so for that i'll tell you one thing so basically guys let me just rub it first then i'll be telling you so guys tell me the exact function if i have the exact if i have the perfect ideal box like particle in 1d box right so if i have particle in 1d box and if i say that the exact energy corresponding to it uh, would be like it would be exact energy fine uh, some exact energy is coming and if i say some if i say some uh, if i take some random trial wave function corresponding to particle in 1d box only right so if i take two system one is uh, e1 and one is e2 and this has more pa variational parameter e2 has more variational parameter so obviously e2 will be much e2 will be closer to exact and it would be greater than e exact tell me this will be the case according to variational parameter this is the condition for people who are not getting it so just go back and see my uh, lectures on variational principle there things will be clear to you what about even so guys the ideal system is so the ideal system is this one and energy corresponding to this is e exact so that means it will be having minimum energy minimum energy means the most stable system you know that the most stable system has the minimum energy so that means e exact will have minimum energy and you know the better more the number of variational parameter is that means more suitable it is and more better it is so that means e2 will have obviously less energy e2 will have less energy than e1 e1 will have maximum energy because it has uh, it has very less variational parameter so that means the system is very less stable system is very less stable means energy is more fine guys i hope this thing is clear to you remember this if system is stable if system is stable or ideal so it will have minimum energy so if i have to arrange so obviously exact system will have the minimum energy that's what i have arranged exact uh, system will have minimum energy i have arranged it like this then what will happen and uh, now what what will happen now so now this now if i compare between e1 and e2 here in this case if i compare e1 and e2 so obviously this system has less variational parameter less variational parameter means it is less stable less stable means it will have more energy more energy than this e2 so i will write e1 will be greater than equal to e2 clear guys this is the condition if you are not getting it if you are not getting it please just see the lecture again and you can ask me in the comment section also so let's just go to one net question which came in the exam so this is the basic theory which i explained you and everything will revolve around this only for now some question will depend on on this theory only so let's just go down to this example which i have written over here if you can see for example if you can see over here so this thing is let us consider linear variational trial wave function is proposed for the ground state of particle in 1d box so okay some linear trial wave function has been proposed for ground state of particle in 1d box and respective energies are given so these so these trial wave functions are proposed and energies are this respective to these uh, wave functions and this is net question guys so just pay attention over it so what will happen so first state is given like this c1x l minus x c1x l minus x plus c2x square l minus x square 
and in this thing everything is same but one more term is added so you just need to arrange everything in increasing or decreasing order of energy and e exact is the energy e exact is the exact is the energy of the ideal system fine so exact uh, so what will happen now how will we arrange this thing so i told you that more the number of variational parameter so more better the function is and one more thing that uh, better the function will be and it will correspond more to exact energy so which which function has uh, more variational parameter and which will correspond to exact energy more obviously e3 because it has three three basis function three basis function means three sets of uh, constituents right so it has three variational parameters in it it has only two and it has only one so obviously this will be better function and it will correspond more to exact energy so i will write e3 will be greater than equal to e exact this i will write fine this i'll write so now my next step is about e1 and e2 how e1 and e2 will be uh, distributed so now we can see among e1 and e2 e2 has more variational parameter so obviously it has more variational parameter so it will be like closing more to e like obviously it will be less than e3 but it will be uh, closing more to exact energy than e1 so that means this has more variational parameter so that means it is more stable it is more stable means more stable e2 is i am writing over here e2 is more stable than e2 is more stable than e1 like exact energy is the most stable state then e3 and then e2 and e1 is least stable but we i can say e2 is more stable than e1 so that means e2 energy will be less than e1 because the more the stable system is lesser the energy will be so e2 more stable than e1 so if i write energy so e2 will be less than e1 e2 will be less than e1 fine like if i if i write psi2 instead of this psi2 psi1 fine so e2 will be less than e1 so what i'll write that e1 is greater than e2 e1 is greater than equal to e2 and what about e2 and e3 so let's see e2 and e3 so obviously e3 has more variational parameter than e2 it is more stable more stable means less energy less energy more stable means less energy than e2 fine so e2 will have more energy so i will write e2 greater than like this and the trend will be like this and uh, you can see over here it will be like this and you will be doing the question on the basis of this only so i hope this thing is very much clear to you and uh, if you have doubts you can leave it in the comment section and uh, please feel feel free to drop your queries in the comment section or in the telegram group and uh, in the further lecture i'll be telling you some previous year question i'll be taking previous year question only and in 3 to 4 lectures four to five lectures it will be completed and then we'll be starting huckel molecular orbital theory so i guess that's it for this one i'll see all of you in the next one till then bye and take care bye